is going on everyone hope you're all doing well so in today's video i'll be doing a little breakdown slash educational video showcasing the trade that i took on gold this week now if you head over to my instagram if you haven't already give my instagram a follow i'm so active there you can drop me messages there i'll reply to you instantly and i post a lot of educational content as well as my trades and some students performance etc but anyways let's get straight into it so this was the gold trade that i'll be going through today as you can see this was the nice confirmation entry i waited for this was the after secured a nice 1 to 21 risk to reward this was the proof of entry and this was the proof that it was sent to the team now if you are interested in joining the team head over to my instagram click the link in the bio head over to course and discord and then all you need to do is fill in your details, make the payment, and then you'll get an automatic email with the link to join in the team. But anyways, let's get straight into the into breakdown. It. So, why I started to look for sales? First thing I identified was all of this inefficient price section that I knew needed to be filled in. So I simply wait for price to retrace back into an area before it created all of this imbalance. And the area before it created all of this imbalance was of this one hour pivot point right over here. This nice supply zone at this area here. So essentially, this was the last candle before the volatile move over to the downside. So I'm, I was simply waiting for price to approach into this area before I started to look for my sells. So as we play price, let's head over to the 15 minute because that's the time frame that I got my entry of. So let's watch how it approaches this area and how it reacts. Let's play price and wait for it to tap in. And there it is. So once price tapped into our zone, that's when I started to look for a confirmation entry. That's when I broke onto, broke down into the five minute and I was waiting for a change of character. Let's wait for that. Wait for price to break. Look, there it is. So no, let's pull back to here. So I was simply waiting for price to break this structure here. Let's label that change of character. Once I once I identified this change of character, that's that's when I started to look for my cells onto the 15 minute. We can clearly identify this nice indecision candle right here. Um, an indecision candle is simply a doji candle, is where the body's in the middle in the middle of the candle and wicks on either side. So once we had that change of character, I marked up my 15 minute area supply and I waited for price to tap into it before I went to show it there it is and then i'll simply target in what an area of demand on the hourly which was this point over here let's mark that out just like oh just like so and let's throw over back to that 15 minute now let's see how price plays out. As you can see, price tapped into our 15 minute supply and it's already starting to move in our intended direction. And let's watch it, let's watch it play out. Let it do its thing. And wait for it. There it goes. Price taps into that area of demand I was talking about, and we were able to secure a nice one to twenty-three. But in today's video, I'll be doing a little educational video on all the re-entries that you could have got in on this trade to maximize your profits on on this specific move over to the downside. So, first things first is we identified that entry over here. Now let's see all the re-entries that you could have got in on this trade. So. Once you identify this structure was broken, you then look for the last candle before the move over to the downside. Now, if we head over to that one hour and we zoom in, right, let me get rid of this short position right here. Let's see all the re entries that we could have entered in on. So, once you identify this structure being broken, you look for the last candle before that structure broke. So, essentially, this was the last hourly candle right here, that area of supply. Before, before that breaker structure. So you could have gotten an entry right here. That would have been your re-entry, right? And you could have targeted this, that area of demand that I was talking about, right? 
another entry point was on the 15 right once this structure was broken you could identify the last buy candle before that move over to the downside and we can identify one right over here this nice area oh that nice area of supply right there you could have also got in on this position here with your stop loss at the wick just like so and your take profit same at the demand and there it is so you could have gotten on our entry on the 15 minute this re-entry of the one hour sub area of supply you could have gotten at this re-entry here at this 15 minute uh 15 minute area of supply now once i took profit on my position I'll start to look for a potential area where I could enter off from again. So now let's just let price play out. Let gold do its thing, right? The first thing that I noticed was this imbalance that was created right over here. And what do we know when there's inefficient price action? We know that price must come back and fill it in, right? So I kept my eye out for any cells that I could take to fill in this inefficient price action. And then secondly, what, did, what I identified was this liquidity that built up at this area over here. So now let's get rid of all of these short positions because we already went through the entry points. So as you can see, there was all of this liquidity that was building up here, right? So one, I knew that this liquidity needed to be taken out. Two, I, needed, I also knew that this imbalance needed to be filled in. And now three... I was looking for an unmitigated supply that hasn't been tapped into yet. And as we can see, we can identify a very nice 15 minute indecision candle at this point over here. And this was a trade that I got into. If you head over to my Instagram, uh, where is it? Right there. Let's get rid of this real quick. Okay, let's head over here. Head over to my sniper section and then you'll see the entry of this trade that I'm about to show you right now. But anyway, so we now know that this liquidity needs to be taken out and we also know that this imbalance needs to be filled in. And there was this unmitigated area of supply that needs to be tapped into. So now we let price play out. Let's see what it does. There it is. Look how quick that was. Price tapped into that supply. It wiped out this liquidity and it came into our area to fill in all of this inefficient price action. So you would have got yourself a nice one to six on this trade. These are all the possible entries you could have gotten on gold using just one simple strategy, and that is supply and demand. That is all you need to master your trading. Essentially, everything is supply and demand. You can trade any asset class using this strategy, whether it's commodities, whether it's currencies, whether it's indices, whatever it is, the st stocks, everything. Supply and demand can be applied in all of these asset classes. So you could have, on this trade alone, this was a 21 risk to reward, this was 8, this was 5, this was 6. If you add it all up together, you could have came out with a nice 40 risk to reward. Risking 0 0.5, you would have made yourself a nice 20%. Risking 1%, you would have made yourself a nice 4%, uh, sorry, 40%. Using 2% risk, you would have made yourself a nice 80%. Whatever your risk money, uh, risk management is, money management is, you could have got yourself nice rewards on out of this strategy itself if you guys ever need anything i'm very active on my instagram again i reply to all my messages so message me there if you are in need of anything all right guys take care of yourself see you in the next video